I'm Amanda Lunt, I'm the Vista Experience Manager here at Quarry Bank and we're here today to talk about the reopening of the mill building which is part of our wider Quarry Bank project. The mill has actually been closed for nine months for a programme of conservation and we've been creating new exhibitions which we hope will move, teach and inspire our visitors and immersing them in the story of the workers, the mill owners and the children as well who worked here at Quarry Bank. So the wonderful thing about the mill is it tells the story of the workers but what the workers did was they created profits which the Gregg family who lived here were able to channel into new ways of living including the development of an amazing garden and with that garden comes a state-of-the-art early 18th century glass house which we've also fully restored. Visitors can see that and they can experience what it would have been like for the gardeners working at that time in this beautiful garden. I'm the Senior Project Coordinator at Quarry Bank. So that means I'm involved in all aspects of the project that's been going on here from all of the building work that's been happening for four years but most recently developing all of the new galleries in the mill that visitors can see. So there are four new galleries that everyone can experience as Samuel's Industrial Enterprise. It's all about the past 200 years how Samuel came to, to run this mill. We have a mill a workers gallery, the workforce gallery, that is a real sensory immersive gallery where you can really feel and, and learn about the stories of the workers who used to work at Quarry Bank. And then we have the power galleries with this exciting new light box that really shows the development and the story of power at Quarry Bank. And there's lots of tinker stations for families to have a play at and learn how to be an engineer. So it's a really exciting time to come and visit Quarry Bank. Our stories at Quarry Bank are all embedded in our archive, so we have a fantastic archive full of workers' records, business records, the indentures of the apprentices who worked here. We have paintings from the Gregg family, poetry from the Gregg family, so we have all this wealth of information that is the heart of the interpretation. So it's been a lot of time sifting through all of that information, thinking what is it that we want to present, what stories do we want to tell in the archive. As well as all the new galleries, we have installed a new passenger lift to allow access to all floors in the mill. So overall the project has costed nine and a half million. Um, real thanks to our funders, the Heritage Lottery Fund, but also to lots of private donations and all the people who visited who brought a raffle that had raffle ticket that has funded our lift as well. When visitors come, if they've been before, it will look very, very different. Brand new exhibitions, really immersive, really engaging. We want you to try and see the mill experience through the eyes of the workers who were here. And so we've uncovered new stories, we've conserved all of our machinery and we've explored at a much deeper level than ever before the story of Quarry Bank.